Hi and welcome to a new video in the class mechanics series. In this video I want to talk about the warrior class and the mechanics for each elite spec. Let's start with the base class. Warrior is one of the simplest classes to play. The leveling experience is very good and you can use lots of weapons. The main mechanic for warrior is your adrenaline level. Based on how high it is you can do more damage with your burst skills. One thing to note here is that the burst skill is based on your main hand weapon if you dual wield. Like always, my recommendation while leveling is to use the gear that you drop from killing mobs and not worry about the stats or buying gear from the trading post. When you reach level 80, you can get your cheap exotic gear from the trading post. I recommend the bonus armor. As for the build, I recommend this one after you reach level 80. We can move on to Berserker. This is now one of the boon support specs for Warrior as it was nerfed some time ago and now Arinanet is trying to get it back in line. For now it is a decent spec if you like the Berserk mechanic. Speaking about mechanics, the new mechanic for this spec is that when your adrenaline bar is full you can activate Berserk mode. This increases your attack speed and you gain access to primal burst skills which are a specific version of burst skill for Berserker only. You also gain access to using a torch, but this is used only for the Condi version. The build that is used most often for this spec is on the screen now. The next elite spec is the Spellbreaker and you need Path of Fire for it. This is mostly a pure DPS spec now and you can use it as a quickness provider too. Unfortunately it's not that used in pack groups lately. But this shouldn't keep you from playing the quickness version as it is decent. The new mechanic for the spec is that you gain access to full counter which blocks all incoming damage and does some damage back. This also means that your adrenaline bar will be smaller. But don't worry this spec is a very good damage dealer and I use it pretty often after the October balance patch. You are also able to wield a dagger in your main hand which is very good and has fast attack speed. The dagger also comes with a new burst skill that can remove boons from enemies. I will put on the screen the DPS variant. And now the latest elite spec is the blade sword, which was released with end of dragons. This is a more complicated spec compared to the other specs for warrior, but you also have more options. It even used to be a healer but Arinanet nerfed it really fast. The new mechanic for this pack is that you gain access to the gun saber, but you can have only one set of weapons active. Don't worry, it is not much different from having two sets of weapons as the gun saber has plenty of DPS and utility options. I played this build mostly as a quickness DPS because I'm using Spellbreaker for the DPS, since it's a lot simpler to play and you don't have to count on Dragon Trigger not missing, but if you are good with timing things then it should be a good choice for you. You can see the quickness version on the screen now. If you want to use it for TPS, I recommend that you go to the Snowcrow's website or Meta Battle. In conclusion, Warrior is a very good class with some nice options in terms of builds to play. You should pick the one that suits the most for you. The only downside I can find for Warrior is that you do not have too many options for range DPS in case of mechanics that keep you at range. At the moment it is a very good pick if you want to start with it. Hopefully ArenaNet won't nerf it again. If you want to see more content like this, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please click the like and subscribe buttons.